All right, welcome in. I'm the Kodiak, and today I'm back from my trip that I was on over the course of this past week. Went to see my girlfriend, so that was fantastic. Uh, but welcome in. I'm the Kodiak, and Chargers fans always do really well and show out on my videos, so I've got another one for y'all today. So last night, the NFL draft took place, and they drafted Joe Ald. Now, I know that a lot of people were really hesitant on the fact that it was not Malik Neighbors, given that Malik Neighbors had been the most commonly mocked pick to the Chargers ever since they traded away Keenan Allen. But at the same time, uh, I love what they've been in this draft. And it starts with Joe Walt. And I think Joe Walt and Ladd McConkey are better than Malik Neighbors and whatever O-line was best available at number 34 or whatever they traded up to was. And I think it's a little worrisome that Justin Herbert's number two target as of right now is Josh Palmer. Uh, but at the same time, I'm recording this before day two is even over. Like, the draft is literally going on right now as I'm recording this. I just wanted to get something up. Um, and they're definitely going to add more to that room. And I'm a huge Malik Neighbors fan, but I agree philosophically going all in on the trenches like successful teams like the Eagles have done. And if you have good trenches, the rest of your team infrastructure uh, can take you a long way. It was shown by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this past year. Yes, they had a resurgent Baker Mayfield, but you could argue that because of their O-line, they were able to have a resurgent Baker Mayfield in the first place. So the Harbaugh model is something that the Chargers are going to follow by building on the offensive line and defensive line on mostly rookie contracts and probably take another wide receiver. And they're definitely going to add to their running back room as well because uh, Gus Edwards, as you're best available running back right now, along with Josh Kelly, just isn't really world beating. But at the same time, uh, I find it interesting that with all the J.C. Latham smoke that was going on, uh, Joe Alt and J.C. Latham, when the draft was going on, they both had even odds to be drafted at number five. And I made a video a little over a week ago saying that Joe Alt was a lock to go to the Tennessee Titans, but I felt he was just too good to fall to number seven. He was the overwhelming Vegas favorite to be the first tackle off the board. And for good reason, they must be moving uh, Trey inside because no way is he going to touch the bench making $10 million a year. Uh, and this is what the Chargers O-line is probably shaking up to be right now before day two. And this is something I like. Slater, Johnson, Bozeman, Pipkins, and Alt, they are one center away from having a really, really good line and probably being a strength of this team. And they could be fine going into 2024 with a line like this, with the exterior figured out. And when you put your edge rushers up against Alton Slater, where are you going to put them? For example, the Raiders put Crosby to the left side against the Chargers since he was getting stoned low by Slater. Now he's getting blocked by Joe Alt on the other side, so there's nowhere for him to go. But regarding Joe Alt, I already touched on him in my Titans video, but Chargers just know that you got one of the best offensive tackles in the past three years. I think coming into this year, he did a ton to cement himself as a top five talent. He would be the number one overall prospect in a few years. And yeah, you worry about leverage issues with his height, but he plays at a great pad level. Um, he's absolutely incredible. Captain of Notre Dame, tough, experienced, versatile, athletic. He is a day one starter, card from stone, someone that's going to be a tough matchup for any uh, any opposing defensive lineman. And during his college career, all only played left tackle, so he might not be an ideal swing tackle. But at the same time, uh, Daniel Jeremiah says he has the quickness to kick out and cover up outside speed rushers. And I hope that Alt can make the adjustment to the right tackle position for the sake of the Chargers. And I believe he can, because you already have an all-pro on the left side in Penny Sewell, and now you have a nasty tackle duo. You are going to protect Justin Herbert for Lord even knows how long for the entirety of his career with these two. They at least should be. If all things go well, they at least get second contracts with the team. So yeah, I thought this was a really smart pick. I'm really happy with the, what the Chargers did in this draft. Congratulations, Chargers fans. You guys got a great one. and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.